Good morning, everybody. I hope you're well. Thought I'd make a little effort with my hair. I feel as though I've been living the bun life for a little bit too long. Literally every day, I throw my hair up into a bun, let's go, and that's it. Get all my little wispy bits everywhere. That is my life. And I long to be one of those people that get up every day and do this and make themselves look presentable because that's just not me. I really want it to be because I feel cute when just with my hair done, not necessarily makeup, I just feel put together with my hair done. Anyway, I don't know why I did my hair today because I'm not doing anything particularly exciting. I've got a little bit of housework to do. I've definitely got some work to do because I've got some brand things that I need to plan. And what else? Oh! <laughs> the big the big thing my sofa's arrived guys i know my sofa's arrived it took four months so i'm going to show you those but they finally got here a few days ago and i did manage to do a little bit of a vlog the morning they came so i'll show you that good morning it's 10 past seven in the morning and my sofa is about to be delivered I'm very excited. I'm tired, but I'm excited. It's gonna go here. I'm very excited. They're due any minute now. I've waited nearly four months for this, so. Oh, I can't believe sofa day's here. Thank you so much, and you are Google Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, you too. I know I look like a potato. <laughs> I've got my sofa and the armchair and the cushions and it feels like Christmas. I've waited four months because they got delayed one month and it doesn't feel real. <laughs> First, and I don't, this isn't in its final position, but this is the armchair in cucumber sandwich. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Oh, this doesn't feel real. <laughs> and then the sofa. This is the Bagsy sofa from Loaf and it's in Clever Velvet in Mouse Grey and I've got the cushions to match so it like ties it all in together. Oh, it really does not feel real that there's, there's a sofa in here. <laughs> My sofa. I'm so happy. I feel like we've been on this sofa journey together. I've, I've been waiting for this day where I can just sit on it <laughs> and lie on it. Um, <laughs> I've just put on Instagram that it's arrived and so many of you are wishing me a happy sofa day. And it just is so wholesome. <laughs> oh, I was gonna go back to bed, but now I'm like so hyped that and happy that it's here. Look at my cushions. My cushions match the armchair and they're in shade cucumber sandwich. feel like such an adult. I'm just so happy. It felt like Christmas day and I've sat on them every day since. I have no regrets. It's been one of my best, my finest purchases. <laughs> Chef's kiss. Um, <laughs> my butt's happy. And I'll be honest with you guys, I'm so close to finishing my living room. I've been looking at rugs. I've been looking at some lighting solutions. Who is she calling it a lighting solution? But um, oh, I come in here this room now and I smile. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't tell you how much it fills me with joy to just come in here and just... Oh. Someone said it reminds them of the Gryffindor common room. I'm not really mad about that, to be honest. I'm living for this colour theme. And then the sofa of dreams is here. Now, I haven't put the pictures up here because I have these. Do you remember these? These are going up on the wall soon, but I'm going to get my dad to help me because I don't want them wonky on the wall. But they're going to go just above the sofa because I thought that would be cute, but look at it. Oh, and then the last few things I need for this room to finish it, I'm gonna get a rug. I'm gonna get a rug. I did do a little poll on my Instagram, what shape you think I should get. I think I'm gonna go with the circle, guys. It was like 50-50, but my mirror on the wall is a circle and it kind of, someone said it gives them Hobbit vibes. So <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Uh, and then I also need some new lights because I hate 
these lights. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna Philip hew it up, I think, because I need a light in this corner. I need a light behind the TV, uh, a light for that corner, and then a light over here, so that then they can all come on together. But yes, this sofa has just brought me so much joy. I thought I'd show you guys something that I ordered with the sofa and the cushions um, because they smell so good. So Loaf obviously do sofas, I think they do beds, armchairs, cushions, like hot homey things, hot water bottles, throws, you name it. When I went to their showroom, must have been January, I went straight towards their candles and they smelt incredible. So I smelt these in person before I bought them. And, oh, look, firstly, look how cute they are. So, <sighs> sorry, <laughs> they are designed for their loaf candle pots, which look like this. And they come in many different colors. This one's pink that I got for my kitchen. I think I got one in oat as well, which is kind of like a beige color. Let me talk you through these scents. We have got Granny's Garden, which looks like this. It really does smell like a fresh floral garden. I want to go into the garden that's in my brain when I smell that. There's making marmalade and it just smells really orangey, but like really cozy. Oh God, I love orange, it smells so good. I'm telling you, this is their loaf mix number one. So it's a mixture of all the scents that they do. And I'm telling you, they are all good. This one, summer holiday. Yes. Just think of sun, sea, sand, and sun lotion, and like swimming pool. Oh, it, should, it smells like summer. I don't know how they've done it, but they have. Oh, there's also laundry days. It smells like fresh laundry. There's country boozer, so like a country pub. And again, they've nailed it. It does smell like a pub. I think this one's probably my least favorite, but it smells like old wooden floors and like a, a wooden bar with like maybe a hint of beer and I don't know, cologne. It's really strange, but they've nailed it. It does smell like a country boozer. And then last but not least, can't wait till Christmas, Christmas Eve. Oh, it does. Also, these are all handmade in Cornwall. Sorry, the postman was like shoving something through my letterbox. Made me jump. <laughs> I got a parcel, which I'm confused. It's from our favorite biscuit shop. I don't know who sent me biscuits. We'll have a look in a sec. Let me finish off. So Christmas Eve, it does smell like Christmas. Anyway, if you are after some new candles that you've never smelled before that have the cutest themes, Loaf have got you covered. I did actually get a set the other week, which was like garden lawns and mm, beautiful. Anyway. Suspicious. I'm not going to lie. I definitely haven't ordered myself anything. Oh my god. This is from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour <laughs> in London. I'm invited to the opening of Mandrakes and Magical Creatures. And this is, oh my god. Oh my goodness. I can't believe, look at the bringing creature effects to life. Oh, wow. Ugh. This is an exciting parcel. Seriously guys, if you've never seen Biscuiteers, they handcraft biscuits in London and they are, oh my God. Oh my goodness. Seriously, we've got a little greenhouse, a mandrake, a lightning bolt, Harry's glasses. I'm so excited. <laughs> Seriously, this is so unexpected. I'm like, Shook. Thank you so much, Warner Brothers. That's so nice. And I'm very excited for the opening. I just did a little flat lay for Insta stories because <laughs> I want to munch one of these biscuits real bad, not gonna lie. Mmm. Mmm. I feel like I need to repair a spell. <laughs> God, it's parcel day apparently. Got another parcel. This one, I do know what it is. 
it's something I ordered. If you've seen my recent my recent favorites video, you may know what this is because it's from the Dirty Lamb, which is a skincare and beauty kind of company. This is a replacement of my favorite serum. This is the Dirty Lamb Ultra Night Serum. And I tell you what, it's beautiful. They've actually just recently reached out because they saw that video and they've offered to send me some other bits and bobs, which I'm very excited to try because this is the only product that I have used from them. So I guess I'll let you know what the other things are, but so excited that that's finally arrived. I wonder how many more parcels we're gonna get. I think the only thing that I'm expecting today is some boots. I'm going to MCM Comic Con this weekend coming. And I'm going in my Newt Scamander dress, which I've definitely worn before. I'm not shy about wearing things twice. And I wanted some nicer boots, so I bought these brown boots and I'm hoping they arrive today. They might not, but fingers crossed. <laughs> I've come up with a new rule recently, which is if the cardboard pile gets too big in the hallway, it's time to go to the tip. I'm not putting it in the garage anymore. I got rid of Cardboard Mountain, it's completely gone, because bless my parents, they came and helped me like dismantle all the cardboard. My dad filled his car, I filled my car, and we got rid of all of it. And I definitely had a lot more cardboard since last time you saw, because I've got my guest bed now upstairs, and that's all built as well. <laughs> but I, I got cardboard, and I think it's time for me to go to the tip. I'm telling you, why is it that when I'm vlogging I always take you to the tip? It's not a very glamorous day out for you guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go to the tip, come back, and then think I'm gonna do a little bit of house things and see where the day takes me, I suppose. Right, I've put my spectacles on. I thought we could do a little Q&A. Well, I asked if there was anything you guys wanted me to show you or to answer on Instagram. Go follow me on Instagram, it's where the fun happens. I know that one thing that's been asked a lot recently is actually regarding <laughs> these trousers. These are my favorite trousers of all time. I got them from a little boutique and they were by someone called, I think her name was Lucy Sparks and they were on her store and she had another pattern she discontinued them. <laughs> Someone said, how are you? This is such like an underrated question in these kind of videos because I don't know, I feel like I don't get asked that that much, but I'm okay. The last few days, probably like two or three days, I feel like I've been in a really big emotional slump and I can't put my finger on what it is. I just feel like I've been a, a bit miserable if I'm honest. You know when you just like, don't know what's making you upset or annoyed. There's that, and I do think it's just because I have so much in my mind that it's hard to process everything. I am okay, by the way, I'm so good, but I don't know, the last few days I've just felt a little deflated, if you like, but swings and roundabouts, what goes up must come down, and what's down must go back up, so we're good. <laughs> One of you asked, that you're newly self-employed and that you're anxious, have I got any tips for the self-employed? Self-employed sounds like a dream. You're like, oh, I can work from home. I'm my own boss. But there's a lot of like hard things about it as well, which I don't think is thought about that often, is that you being your own boss is also a flaw because you have to motivate yourself and there's no one there telling you, you have to do this, or you've done this wrong, you shouldn't do this, you need to get this done. <laughs> you are the only one that you have to answer to. And I do think that can be hard sometimes, especially if motivation is lacking, or you're in a bad mood, or you're tired, but yeah, I'm, 
I've got good at it over the years. Self-discipline is definitely something that you need to get to grips with. And I think time management is my biggest tip too. Without time management and organization, working for yourself will be extremely difficult. I have calendars, I've got to-do lists, I have project management. So I know what I'm doing every week every day. I also make sure to have healthy boundaries because I know that being self-employed, it's so easy. You just do work, 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 work. Give it to me, work, 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 work. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> bit of Rihanna, but um, yeah, it is easy just to work, work, work. Even on weekends and evenings, I've definitely been guilty of that in the past. Rest time is productive. Resting is productive. And I wish I'd learned that sooner. <laughs> I'd have burnt out a lot less, that's for sure. Put it this way, if you're resting on weekends and you're having your evenings to yourself and you're taking time off as and when you need it, that's more productive because you're not going to burn out and then your, your body's not going to be like, I need to take at least a week off now because you've just run yourself into the ground. But I guess my tips is organisation, time management and try to stick to a routine. My routine is Mondays, I have admin days, so I get all of my emails done. I do all of my planning for the week, all of my scheduling, what I'm doing when. I've also incorporated the gym personal training into Mondays as well, because I feel like that's like body admin. <laughs> I do that, and then I know that there's a few filming days each week. My weeks are different every week, but for the most part, that's it. And I know when I start work and when I finish work. I hope that helped, sorry, I waffled. My battery died just put a new one in. I thought I'd show you my guest bed. Look, we've got real furniture in here. I'm getting rid of the pink. It's not gonna be pink in here. We're going for like neutrals, OT, kind of beige. We've got some greenery going on, woody colors. Very natural, au naturel. Neutral, yes, so ignore the pink. <laughs> but yes, this is the bed that I bought. I got it from Benson, Benson of Beds, Benson and Beds bed shop. This is my next project actually, this room, because I need some more furniture, I need to actually decorate and make it feel like a, a room that's put together because it still doesn't. It feels a little bit better since I've had the bed. Uh, it definitely feels more of a room, but there's like space that I need a bookshelf, I need to put some artwork up, I need to do something with that table. Um, I did put a little bit of artwork in the ensuite actually. Look, little peacock, it's cute, do we like? I like it. <laughs> but yeah, right, I'm gonna go make some lunch cause I'm a hungry gal and I've realized it's half past one and I've forgotten to eat today. Does anyone else do that? I think it's cause I'm vlogging. I do normally remember breakfast, but here we go. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna die straight into lunch to be honest. Does anyone else refuse to eat on normal plates anymore? <laughs> Since discovering pasta dishes like this, I eat everything out of it. I don't know why. Like all my dinners, even my lunches, pasta bowl. I think it's because it's got edges, but it's kind of, it's, it's like not a bowl, but it's not a plate. Sorry, I've just remembered. Does anyone watch the Kardashians on Disney Plus? Because there was this scene with Kendall, you must have seen it by now, where she's like cutting, cutting a cucumber like this and it's like hun that's when you know you're a bit too rich when you've never cut your own cucumber <laughs> i can't deal i can't deal i am obsessed with that show though i cannot stop it's my guilty pleasure watching it what's your guilty pleasure what do you watch that you know is trash but you can't help yourself it's just really easy kind of comfy watching and also how does good does cucumber smell a feast for a queen i am obsessed so delicious so so delicious don't get me started on moroccan couscous cannot get enough of that
pet a cow. <laughs> Make sure you wash your hands every time. I do love them though. <laughs> They're so cute. We've got some really nice We've got some really nice brown and white cows in the field at the moment and lots of young ones as well. They're very curious. They're like little, I've always called them beef dogs, um, but they're ever so friendly. You don't think much of cows being like a dog, but they are. They're very playful, very curious and love to munch grass. I'm currently hunting on my laptop for an outfit for the Herbology Greenhouse opening event. I'm thinking Herbology kind of renaissance because there's not very many good Herbology outfits out there that are like within the wizarding world. So I'm thinking just a cute kind of Herbology inspired outfit that's kind of oldie worldy. So I'm gonna have a little sit and a plan and then I think I might go and edit for a bit. It's 3 p.m. already. Goodness, I feel like this entire vlog's just been really waffly. That imposter syndrome's coming in, being like, why does anyone want to watch this? Why are you... <laughs> and on that note, I think I will leave it here because I'm not going to do much else from now except look for this outfit and I can't really show you it because I don't know what it is yet. So yeah, thanks for watching. I don't know how much I filmed today. I feel like it's not a lot. Either way, thanks for watching. If you enjoy these vlogs, please, please, please do give this video a quick thumbs up. It takes a second because it really helps my channel out and it also gives me an indicator of what you enjoy watching. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Just me on my sofa. I love it.